Hello, everyone. Welcome into Tapping with Joan, where you will find all the science, the art and science of clinical emotional freedom techniques, also known as EFT tapping. I bring you the experts in this field so that you can really learn how this wonderful, powerful method works. Before I introduce my esteemed guest, I want to share with you something really super cool. So let's see, I'm going to have two. Everybody hang in there for just one second till I pull this marvelous thing up. All right, everyone. So here we go. Memory improvement through EFT tapping, a way to boost recall and clarity by Dr. Peter Stapleton. So no surprise. I know that sometimes I will go into a room and think, why, why am I here? What did I come in here for? Or I'll think of a person but can't recall their name. Or I'll think of, I want to express myself but can't think of the words that I want to use. I mean, I've been on this planet for a really long time now, so I'm just thinking that my brain is full of stuff, but I am really excited about this book and bringing it to you. So we're going to find out what memory improvement through EFT tapping is, and specifically, if you've never heard of EFT tapping, I am honored to bring it to you today. So I'm going to stop sharing the book cover for a moment and welcome in my guest, which is so exciting, Dr. Peter Stapleton, who is Associate Professor of Psychology down in at Bond University down in Australia. Oh, I can't wait to come to Australia someday. All the coolest people live in Australia. There's some cool people that live in the North too, but there are a lot of cool people that live in Australia. So welcome in Dr. Stapleton. Thank you for being on my podcast today. Oh, Joan, it's an absolute pleasure. And we would welcome you here any day. Any oh, day. I'm coming. <laughs> I set the intention. I will tap Good. on it. Good. I'm so, glad. <laughs> for all those who may not know, what clinical evidence-based EFT is. Could you please explain it? Absolutely. Yes, if you are new to listening to this and kind of going, what is this uh, tapping thing? Ultimately, you know, in its essence, tapping or EFT is a stress reduction technique. So we actually do use known acupuncture points on the body if people are familiar with acupuncture. But instead of using a needle, we tap on it with two fingers. So lots of research now over the last couple of decades showing that you can stimulate an acupuncture point and have a profound effect on the stress response in the body. So tapping in itself is a way to reduce stress. Stress is in a lots and lots of things, like you said. And, you know, if people want something that will work fairly quickly and no science and research can back it up, tapping might be the way to go. Yes, and I'm just going to brag on you for a moment. Dr. Stapleton and her team, I mean, she is the assembly line of research. How many research protocols have you and your team <laughs> developed. <laughs> developed over the last 20 years? I'm thinking eating disorders, yes, food yes. cravings, anxiety, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, what else have you been involved in? Yeah, what have we done? We've done um, clinical trials for depression, major depression, um, cigarette smoking, school trials on, you know, our high, high achieving students for self-esteem, resilience, <laughs> fear of failure. Yes, we've done chronic pain. Most recently, we've done cancer trials. And of course, we might let people know yes. what we are collaborating on moving forward. I'm doing a forgiveness trial at the moment. Yes, look, there's a lot. I don't know, probably 15 or 20 clinical trials honest to pete you're like the henry ford assembly line of <laughs> i think i've got it down pat now i'm like right i know the process I can just... <laughs> she has a system ladies and gentlemen that is second to none 
And yes, we are collaborating. The next research, what I'm so excited to be a part of is EFT for OCD. I've been using EFT clinically for the past 25 years for obsessive compulsive disorder. And everybody's been telling me, well, where's the data? Where's the data? So Dr. Stapleton has graciously agreed to set this up. So we are going to get the data. And I am confident that the data will be positive. Absolutely. Um, yes. Do start any, any week now. <laughs> So, yes, <laughs> stay tuned, everyone. <laughs> this is July of 2023. So if you're watching this after September of 2023 or after we're starting July 26th. Yes. So I will have a link in this podcast that you can go to um, apply for, fill out the form for inclusion into this research if you are at all interested. If you have OCD or you know someone who does and they would like to participate in this study, by all means, check the link in this podcast and fill out the form and send it in. Okay, but you must hurry. Do not delay on this because we start Wednesday, July 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So do not dilly-dally if you have an interest in that. Okay, so tell us about your latest book, EFT for Memory. What is this yeah. all about? Yes, I know. I, um, you know, people might remember way back when we had a worldwide global pandemic and we had a lockdown period. And during that time, I happened to be reading a book about memory and it was about memory championships that are run. And it was just fascinating. Anyway, it made me think, I always use tapping when I walk into a, you said it before, when I walk into a room and I stand there, I'm like, why did I walk into this room again? I just stand there and tap. And then I also remembered that I teach my students how to access their memory in an exam period. So if they're sitting in there and they're a bit stressed and the frontal lobe's gone offline, I'm like, just do some tapping and focus in on, you know, as long as you've studied it and you'll relax a bit and the information will come back for your exam. So I'd watched them for the last 10 years do this in their exam. Everyone just sort of ignores that they're sitting there going like this. <laughs> and I'd read this book and I'm like, oh, wow, this would be really good. I've been looking at tapping for memory and school trials and things like that for years. Why don't I write a book? So during a pandemic and a lockdown, I wrote a book. That's what I did. Oh, what did I do during the pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> I did not write a book. <laughs> I had such fun, Joan. I must say, compared to writing a book on the sides behind tapping, which was obviously my first book, uh, that was a classic. I, it's a classic now. But I really enjoyed this book. I, I got right into it and went so many applications of how you can use tapping in the whole learning process and what that extends to so I, I really enjoyed this book oh, I'm glad can you give us an example say a student is having test anxiety or one example of what you talk about mm, yeah I think you know even if we just talk about the whole age range of school for a minute there's a whole chapter on you know how to help kids even when you've got little ones that are learning their spelling or their times tables, you know, we all kind of have all learning to read, just introducing a little bit of tapping while you're in that process of learning the times tables or learning the words, a little bit of tapping even on the collarbone point keeps everything regulated, keeps the brain engaged and it can make it easier. So I sort of outline how you can do that for one starting school and then right through to our teens that perhaps, you know, have to give a speech or have test anxiety. You can use the traditional tapping method, which is just about acknowledging, you know, what is going on. I talk about, I had to give a talk that was my TEDx talk, which has now been around for about six years as well. And I had to learn this 18 minute speech and I thought, I'll be right. You always get a teleprompter, you know, got slides behind me. And about three weeks before the filming, they said, there's no teleprompter and you can't turn around and reference your slides behind. You just have to know when they're clicking up on the screen. And I was like, oh, no. So even though I wasn't too worried to that point, I went into overdrive. So I, I write about this in the book. So what I did was as I was learning my speech, I tapped. So I'm 
got my speech sort of stuck up in front of me and I just tapped. And so I was tapping while I was learning the speech to get it to integrate and to stay calm. And that's something we can, we can teach our teenagers too, that if you are trying to just stay in a calm space to get information to go in, then add some tapping into what you're doing. Um, I talk about there's lots of stories, lots of people around the world contributed. And Dawson Church of EFT Universe contributed yes. a story himself where he wanted to learn a new language. So in his adult years, he wanted to learn Spanish and he had that belief. We can target beliefs with tapping where he's like, you know, it's harder to learn a language older in life. Mm -hmm. It's easier when you're younger. And he realized, oh, I'm telling myself this message so you can tap directly on that. And then what he did was as he was listening to his language tapes because he was going on a trip, he just tapped at the same time he was listening and found that it just started to flow and that when he was in Spain and heard people speaking, he just could recognise it. And it was done in a fairly condensed time period. And I'm like, this has so many applications for the brain and memory and learning. And how fantastic if we just add a bit of tapping into those processes. Oh, so really, it sounds like it helps the brain. It helps the brain relax. Of course, it lowers cortisol and the integration of the information goes in. Mm, that darn, seems to be like darn it. Yeah. Darn it. Should have read this book before I started studying <laughs> to be a master <laughs> It's never too wow. much. Wow, <laughs> fantastic. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, some people say, oh, this looks so weird, so silly. Who cares if it helps? Of course, being in love with EFT, I will tap anywhere, anytime, and I invite people to ask me what I'm doing so then I can talk about it. But if it's helpful, I imagine... A college student or somebody who is just graduating, taking the LSAT, which is the SAT for law school or the SAT to get into medical school. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you all just did some tapping while you were studying and let all that information go into your brain so it would just pop right up when you needed it? I mean, how terrific was that? Then you'll be the one that gets the higher score over your colleagues. That's right. That's yeah. right. Exactly. I mean, so. It's all fun and wonderful to do slow, deep breathing, but don't underestimate the power of EFT. Honest to Pete, it really it's going to take you to the next level. I mean, I've been tapping for 25 years and I'm having a podcast with Dr. Peter Stapleton. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. So this is well worth your while to take a look at the book. Peter, when will the book be launched? I mean, we're recording the podcast in July. Is it out yet if people want to yes. get it? Yes, so it has been out for just a really brief period of time, only about um, a month or so. So it is oh, okay. now available. Yeah, so it's on um, just about every book site that you would okay. find your favorite books on. And there is a Kindle version if people prefer that to the paperback. I quite like the paperback myself still, but it's a really practical book. And um, if anyone's kind of curious about, you know, reading about tapping and learning it, but then really how to use it with children or for a language or a musical instrument you're trying to learn that or I actually write a whole chapter on um, you know how we have to learn so many passwords and maybe sometimes uh, how you know I have yeah. elderly parents that still kind of you know ask me how to help them out with computers there's a whole chapter dedicated to that kind of thing as well around how can you use tapping so it's really practical in terms of say this tap on this here's a suggested kind of you know phrase that kind of thing mm -hmm. so at least you get that really good sense of um, how to use it, not just information, but um, lots of stories, like I said, in there as well. You teach this to your students to help them? Yeah, so for their, uh, so we're the second university in the world. So there was a couple of years ago, a university in Paris has included EFT in teaching their students. And we now have started to teach it as a subject. So our students have just finished this year, their first round of learning EFT, not only for themselves, so they can use it in the exams, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. but they're allowed to use it with the clients in our psychology clinic on campus. And they were so wow. excited, Joan, let me tell you. They were like, why have we never learned this before? And I'm like, well, this is the first time we've had it kind of <laughs> passed and agreed upon. So See, now that is a dream come true. May everyone in the United States and <laughs> any professor, when I share this podcast on LinkedIn, anyone that is in a university setting, this should be a class. Yeah. Even if it's an elective, oh yeah. gosh, That's even right. if it's an elective, what a fantastic marketing tool to offer this. It will be sold out if every university would have a class in EFT tapping, then, yeah. oh, it would be so incredibly helpful. And especially the graduate students in schools of social work and clinical psychology Licensed marriage and family therapist, art therapist, medical school, all the helping professions. Oh, but I digress. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's coming. It's coming. I have to tap myself for patience. It's coming. It's coming. You and me both. Despite what certain organizations may say, okay, don't even put that out there. Cancel clear. <laughs> We we know this works. Clinically, we know this works. And gratefully, because of all your research and your team, the evidence is there. The data is there. And thank you to all of my clients who have been open to experiencing this. I have seen this clinically for hundreds of my clients over the last 25 years, I have experienced it myself so many times. I'm just so grateful to have this as a tool for resourcing and self-care. Hmm. I had a surprise last week while I was on a Zoom call with a client. And I said, would you please excuse me for one moment? And I muted my microphone and I did some tapping on myself because I wasn't able to be present with my client after the surprise. So then when I came back, she said, watching you go through that gave me hope that this will work for me. And that if I get stressed out, I can use this instead of what I'm doing now. I said, absolutely. I'm so sorry for the interruption, but if this shows you how I use it, then you can use it as a tool too. And we will work on that. So you will get very relaxed and proficient in using this in your life instead of what you do now to relax, which is not really serving you. Wow. So it's just, it's a godsend. It really is. EFT, the technical term, is the cognitive somatic approach. But honestly, folks, it just sending a subtle current of electricity through the electrical pathways inside of your body, which have been photographed, by the way, does so much to remove the disturbance and the disruption in your energy system about whatever the stress is. Whenever we're triggered, that brings up a disruption and then we tap on it and we're no longer triggered by it. Okay, Joan, enough about that. Just because I want everybody- (laughs) That's brilliant. (laughs) To read Dr. Stapleton's book on how they can use it to increase their memory. So yeah, absolutely. Any, what else should the world know about your book? Yeah, I, I finished the book with um, a dedicated chapter to memory loss disorders. So sometimes people have obviously family members or even family history of mm-hmm. things like dementia or Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. And I talk about how could tapping be used in that space. There has been some published research, uh, obviously not to... Um, overcome or heal dementia but Mm -hmm. to cope in that space if someone's already suffering and lots of lovely really lovely case studies of people who 
allowed family members to tap on them for agitation and things like that once they were already losing their memory. Mm-hmm. And and really kind of calming, like you keep saying, it is that calming response. And then there's this one beautiful story where this woman was tapping on her dad. He could no longer remember who she was mm-hmm. uh, as his daughter, but he allowed her to tap on him because he was feeling... Anyway, he started to ask the hospital hospice staff, can you get me that lady with the magic fingers? The healing. Oh. And it was his daughter, but he didn't remember that. But he's like the lady with the healing fingers and hands. So, you know, just some really lovely stories of people being able to kind of address and, and offer that kind of to their parents or, you know, even in kind of settings where they might be working, even for themselves as a carer. But really also... If you've got worry, so say you've got family members that have suffered those things and you're worried yourself, what if that happens to me? You can tap on your own worry, like tapping works on the future worry. So you can actually get yourself, like you said, we've got all those biochemistry studies that show cortisol, gene expression, you know, um, inflammation markers. They can all be affected biologically through tapping. So if you worry about those things happening to you, you can tap on them now before they happen. So there is a whole chapter dedicated to that. And then right at the end, there's a website link off to my website where we actually have written a whole tapping plan for life and it's all free. You can download the whole lot, lots of um, videos that you can actually watch there. So once yeah. you get them, go and have a look at all the resources that are free for you to keep forever. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. some just really lovely applications that you can use it for. Yes. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you for writing this book. Thank you for talking with me today. Absolute pleasure. (laughs) There's nothing more important than teaching the world what EFT does. In my heart of hearts, there's nothing more important than sharing our information so that the whole world has a tool for feeling better, for letting go of stress. Where was I? I I was with my boyfriend and we went for uh, a day trip to a local park where there's the river. And I thought, I have never felt so peaceful. Mm -hmm. And that's what EFT tapping helped me find my boyfriend. So if it can do that. (laughs) (laughs) Someone's going to say, I want that script. (laughs) I'm happy to share that with you. Very good. <laughs> but that's a whole nother conversation. I want to keep focused on EFT for memory. So thank you so much for being on today. World, here it is. If you have any concerns about memory for yourself or a loved one, get this book. I'm going to share it again because I am absolutely shameless. So we're going to do this. Thank you, Joan. That's fabulous. See, Look at and that. Here we Look go. At okay. So, I mean, and Dr. Stapleton, she is brilliant. Oh, my gosh. So, I mean, having done all this tapping herself, you know. So. Is this true? 20 years I have tapped. Yes. <laughs> really love you. Those right. of us who tap every single day must have learned something. That's for sure. <laughs> But please treat yourself to this book if you want to boost recall and clarity and really get sharper with your memory and reduce stress. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. And anybody that wants to be a part of our study, check the link down below. Absolutely. And we will keep that going in 2024. So if someone missed this boat, that's all right. We can circle back in January. Ooh, sounds like a plan. Woohoo. Yep. Sounds good. So thank you everybody for watching and listening. Thank you, Dr. Stapleton. And you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Enjoy everyone. Enjoy.